Hallelujah. Come on, we can do better. I know we I know we're small in number today, but it's not about the number. Praise the name of God. Amen. If you have a mouth, you can praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 100 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Verse 5 says, for the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Praise the name of God. Come on, clap your hands all over the house. Come on, clap your hands all over the house. There's a song that says, I don't know what you come to do, but I come to bless his name. I come to clap my hands. I've come to stomp my feet. I've come to bless the name of God. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet and give God some praise right where you are. Hallelujah. We can make a noise in this house. Make a sound in this house. Right where you are. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, open up your mouth and give God some praise. He's been too good to you to come into the house of God with a closed mouth. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. 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 He's the everlasting father. He's the prince of peace. Praise the name of God. Come on, let's invite the spirit of God in this house. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise the name of God. Hallelujah. As we go before the throne of grace. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you. God, we bless you. God, we give you honor. God, we give you glory. God, we give you praise. God, we worship you in this house this morning. God, you're so good. Oh, God, hallelujah. Oh, God, you're our comforter. God, you're the everlasting Father. You're a mighty God. God, you're the Prince of Peace. You're a provider. You're Alpha. God, you're Omega. God, you're the beginning. God, you are the end. You're the first and you're the last. You're the author and the finisher of our faith. God, you're the source of our strength. God, you're the strength of our life. God, in you we move and we have our being, oh God. So we come before you right now, oh God, to give you the fruit of our lips. We've come before you right now, oh God. Lord God, to say thank you. We've come before you right now, oh God, to give you our worship. We've come before you right now, oh God, to say thank you. God, we say thank you. Thank you for being God and God all by yourself. Thank you, God, for life, God, for health and for strength. Thank you, God, for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your power. Lord God, we thank you. God, we bless you. God, we worship you in the house, God. We give you glory, God. Hallelujah. God, fill the house right now. Fill the house with your presence. Fill this house with your glory. Fill this house, oh God. We may be small in number today, but you said in your word when there's two or three gathered in your name, then you would be in the midst, oh God. So we know that you're here in this house. We know that you're here, oh God, dwelling among us, God. And we ask right now with the name of God that you pour out your spirit on us right now. God, bless your people right now, oh God. Bless your people right now, oh God. 
touch every person that is here today, God. From the crowns of our head, God, to the soles of our feet, oh God. Bless us right now, oh God. Oh God, somebody's had a rough week, God. Somebody is tired in their body, God. Somebody's sleep was interrupted, God. But you are our strength, oh God. You are our God. And we say thank you, God. Bless this service right now. Bless this morning worship, oh God. From the pulpit to the door, God. Oh God, even let somebody, oh God, that is walking by feel your glory, God. Oh God, let somebody be drawn, oh God, into the house today, God. Bless, oh God, this service, oh God. Bless every song that we sing. Bless our worship, oh God. Bless, oh God, even the word of God that comes through the man of God today. Oh God, we need a word from you, God. We need a word from heaven, God. We need a word from you, oh God. There's so much going on in the world. So much going on in our lives. So much going on, oh God. But we came to hear from you, Jesus. We came to hear from you, oh God. Not to praise man, but we came to bless the name of God. We came to hear from heaven, God. We came to feel your glory. We came to feel your presence, oh God. Have your way in this house, oh God. Have your way in our minds, oh God. Have your way in our hearts, oh God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you. Bless your people, God. Remember those who could not be here today, oh God. Remember our mothers, oh God. Remember Mother Bash right now, oh God. God, touch her body, God. Oh God, we, oh God, we declare God complete healing, God. In the name of Jesus. Come on, saints, we declare complete healing, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Touch right now, oh God. Mother Rita Freeman, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, touch her mind, oh God. Touch her body, God. Remember right now, oh God, Mother Barbara Freeman, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, touch her body, God. Give us strength, oh God. Sister Barbara, God, touch her right now, oh God. The swelling, oh God, in her leg, God. You can do it, God. Move right now, oh God. Touch right now, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for healing. We thank you for victory, God, because thanks be unto God. Oh, God. Thanks be unto God. Oh, God, hallelujah. Thanks be unto God who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who always causes us to triumph. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, we bless your name, oh, God. Have your way, Jesus. Remember right now, oh, God. Oh, God, our youth, God. Touch them right now, God. Pour out your spirit, God. Pour out your Holy Spirit, God. We thank you right now for what you're about to do in this house. We thank you, God, for what you're about to do, God, in our lives, oh, God. Oh, God, remember Israel right now. In the name of Jesus, your people in Israel and Gaza, God, you know what's going on. And we thank you, God, because we know, oh God, that you're a God, that nothing catches you by surprise. God, you see everything that's going on. You see everything that's going on in the world. You see everything that's going on in our lives, God. God, you see it all, God. And you know it all, God. And you're the only one that can do something about it, God. So we ask it right now, God, to move, Jesus. Move, God. Move, God, in our minds. Move, God, in our hearts, oh, God. Help us to follow you even the more, oh, God. Put a fire in your people, God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God. Help us, oh, God, to come back to you, God. Oh, God, bless the sinner man, oh, God. Oh, God, bless the black, the backslider, God. Oh, God, bring them back to you, God. And we thank you for what you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen. Come on, saints, give God a praise. Come on, saints, open up your mouth. Come on, saints, lift up your hands. Give God a wave offering in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is in this house. Give God a wave offering in the house. Right where you are, hallelujah. Come on, saints, wave your hands in the house. Give God a wave offering in the house. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
We thank God for his spirit in the house on today. Praise the name of God. Come on, you can have your seats. Praise the name of God. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For meeting us in the, in the house. Praise the name of Jesus. I don't take that lightly. Amen. Come in the house and the spirit of God is in the house. Praise the name of God. We thank God for that. We thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. That pressed your way out on today. Come on, clap your hands. Praise the name of God. Amen. At this time, amen, we are going to read our House of Prayers Affirmation of Faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. House of Prayers Affirmation of Faith found in your programs. And it is on the screen. Praise the name of God. It says, we affirm our faith in the Bible. We believe the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible written word of God. We affirm our faith in God. We believe there is one God, our Heavenly Father, creator of all life and eternal existence. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God, his people who are in Christ at his return. We affirm our faith in sanctification. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit, by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We believe in the redemptive work of Christ on the cross. It provides healing for the human body, mind, and soul according to your faith. We affirm the reality of freedom in Christ. It is our freedom that Christ has set us free. This freedom is a gift of God in Christ, and it manifests itself in a right relationship with God and others. It is not a private gift to be used selfishly, but is given to serve the community and the world. Amen. This is House of Prayers, affirmation of it. Come on, clap your hands all over the house. Praise the name of God. Amen. At this time, you want to have, amen, our scripture reading of the morning. We're going to ask uh, Sister Nadine to come and read our scripture of the morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, clap your hands as she come. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just give me one second and I'll be right with you. Amen. Truly the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting. Hallelujah. I'm going to read to you Psalms chapter 91 verses 1 through 16. At this time, if you can, please stand. And the word of the Lord reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, 
to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. With long life, I'm sorry, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. And may God add a blessing to the reading of his word. At this time, we're going to call our praise and worship leader in Jesus' name. We truly thank God for everyone that's here. We thank God for life, health, and strength. We thank God for allowing us to see another day, saints. Hallelujah. We woke up above ground, and that's a blessing in itself. We thank God for his mercy and his grace, that his grace and his mercy is long. And he says, uh, mercy and grace shall follow us all the days of our life, that we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And we praise God for this day. No ways discouraged, saints, because God is that good. Things are not always going to go our way, but we still got to trust and believe that God is who we say he is. Hallelujah. And I bless him for just this day. Hallelujah, dine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, dine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Revivals again. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revivals. continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Get up. I 
because the Lord has made me glad. We're here today because God has smiled on us, church, and that's why I rejoice. We can't pay him, but we can definitely give him some praise. We can never pay him, but we can say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. I'm grateful that I'm still in the land of the living, able to breathe, able to see, able to walk, able to talk. Hallelujah. No one had to dress us this morning. Hallelujah. But we were able to put our clothes on by ourselves. We can brush our teeth. We can drink water and spit it out, church. That's a blessing. Hallelujah. So many people waiting for assistance, waiting for someone to give them a bath. Hallelujah. Waiting for someone to feed them. But church, we're blessed. Whether you believe it or not, you're blessed. You're better than blessed. Hallelujah. And that's why I praise him. I'm not stuck on numbers. I don't care. We give God praise whether it's two or three. Hallelujah. Because he's been good. Hallelujah. We can be on our bed of affliction. We can be ready to go to someone's burial because one of our loved ones was shot down. But look at God. He's kept us. He's blessed us. We're in good health. We got our sound mind. Sound mind. So many don't have sound thinking. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, I'll keep you in perfect peace whose minds are stayed on him. But all the cares of this life, sometimes we don't know if we're coming or going. But the peace of God, it reigns on the inside. Hallelujah. And we're so grateful on this morning. I'm no ways discouraged, church. But I'm happy in my sanctified soul. Hallelujah. Because God has been good. And he smiled on us. He's smiling on us. Hallelujah. Because we're not discouraged. Hallelujah. Better days are coming, church. Hallelujah. Better days are coming. I'm on us. Better days are coming, Mazetta. Nadine, better days are coming. Hallelujah. Dominique, better days are coming. Hallelujah. You just got to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Satan wants you to quit, but stand still. Hallelujah. And watch God work it out. Hallelujah. The race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. But Saint, the scripture says to them or her, who endure to the end, endure. Endure hardness as a good soldier. Good soldiers don't quit, hallelujah. Oh God, I thank you. But stand, Sister Mazetta, stand. I don't I don't care what it look like, God is still God, oh my savior. And he reigns supreme. No, nobody and nothing can trump God's power, hallelujah. And that's why I love him. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Saints, we got to take him at his word. Hallelujah. Take him at his word. And after this song, we're going to turn it over to the pulpit. Oh, thank you. Saints, take him at his word. Hallelujah. It is so sweet to trust in my Jesus, just to take him at his, take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to what is the Lord? Jesus, 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 Jesus. I want to him. I want to him more and more. It is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Jesus, in my Jesus. Talking life in rest and joy and peace. I'm so glad, I'm so glad that I've learned to, I've learned to trust him. Precious Jesus, he's my savior. Church and he's my friend. Oh, and I know that thou art with me. He will be with me until he. I'm gonna sing that one more time. I'm, I'm so glad that I've learned, I've learned to trust him. Precious Jesus. Guess what? He's my savior. And he's my friend, oh, and, and I know that thou, thou art with me, Lord, you promise you'll be with me until, until the end, Jesus, 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 oh, how I, I really trust you. him because he can do anything but fail. We honor our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is the author and finisher of my faith. He did something that man could not do. And what he did, uh, the Father found it acceptable and received the perfect sacrifice for the remission of all human kind sin. I want to share something with you before we get into our message. I want to thank all of you. For being a part of my church anniversary of pastorship. Sister Greta and myself, thank you dearly. 
because you didn't have to do what you did. You know, some of us think that, oh, we're doing it because we can do it. You did it out of love. And God is love. And I thank you from the depths of my heart, and I'm speaking for Sister Greta. How does the Lord know evil? That's not, that's not my subject. But as I was studying, I ran across that statement. How does God know evil when he has never did evil? And I did a little bit more research, and he came back, and he says that the Lord knows evil, but he doesn't know it personally. He hasn't experienced it. Thank you, Jesus. How do we know evil? Because we were hard-headed. We wouldn't listen to the one who told us not to do it. We had to find out for yourself. How many times have growing up your mom, mom or dad have told you not to do something? Why do they tell you that? Because they have experienced it. Oh, but we're hard-headed. Man knows evil by becoming evil. Man knows evil by becoming evil, which is the fountainhead of all sorrow in the world. This is why it's so important to know him, to know that God forgives sin. And not only does he forgive it, Scripture tells us say that he forgives it, and then he takes it and he throws it over, into the sea of forgetfulness. He's not like us. I forgive you, Elder Desmond. I ain't seen you in six months. The next time I saw you, the first day, he owed me some money. That's how we are. But see, when we get rooted and grounded in the word of God, We are going to be able to be just like my brother Jesus. He's my brother. Thank you, Jesus. When you look at churches today, churches are not like they used to be. The scripture tells us that there's going to be a great falling away. One thing that we do know as believers in the word of God, that the word does not lie. And there has been a great falling away. It's been a great falling away because of COVID. We have never recovered from COVID. I was on a line with Bible study. I'm just sharing some things with you. And we were doing Bible study with some pastors and bishops over the phone. It's just not like being in the church in his presence. Oh, we're talking about it. But it looks like when you come together, you get a personal joke, uh, injection. I'm telling all of you out there on Zoom, on Facebook, on live, wherever you're listening to, don't trade the real deal for Zoom. Don't trade it in. Glory to God. You're going to miss it. 
Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me get in the way, get out of the way. I, I would like to direct your attention to the very familiar scripture. I want to, the Lord wants to encourage this morning. This is the time of the year of the season where it's so easy to become discouraged. Uh, the holidays are coming. Amen. Uh, our loved ones have crossed over. We are missing and we love memories, but there's nothing like being able to go to mom and say, Mama, I love you. Dad, I love you. Give them a big hug. But what you have to understand is that this too will pass. A very familiar scripture in the book of Luke, found in Dr. Luke. How many of you know that Luke was a physician? Now, he wasn't a physician for Jesus. Jesus didn't need no physician. But he was a physician for the other disciples. Hallelujah. Luke, the seventh chapter, I'm sorry, the eighth chapter, we're going to read verses 22, 23, 24, and 25. And when you found that, if you don't mind, let's honor the word of God. Let's reverence this word by standing to our feet. And we have heard this scripture so many times. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples. He said unto them, let us go over into the other side of the lake. And they launched forward. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. It's something about flesh. Flesh gets tired. Jesus was showing us that he got tired. He, he fell asleep. He fell asleep. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him. You, you, you wonder. If that storm was as bad, it had them all shaken up. The boat was tossing and blowing aside. But Jesus was asleep. Through all of that, he was asleep. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the waters and they ceased and there was calm. Come on, someone say calm. And he said unto them, where is your faith? And they being afraid wondered, saying one to another, what manner of man is this? For he commandeth even the winds and the water, and they obey him. Father, God, you have brought all of us from a mighty, mighty long way. Where we stand today, Jesus, it's not because of what we did. But because of what you did. How 
power belongs to you. When you speak, something has to happen. Uh, Lord, speak today. Hallelujah. Speak, Jesus. Through this empty clay of vessel, I surrender. I commit myself unto thee. Speak, my God, to your people. Let them know that you are still in charge. And that there's nothing that's going on in your world that you don't know. That you are not allowing it to happen. Teach us, Lord, to trust more in thee. Pull us more closer to the depths of your love. And glorify thyself the more in our lives. Uh, this is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap. And you can be seated. Hallelujah. As I was reading the scriptures, you know, you can read the scripture over and over again and you always get new meat you learn something new comfort zone thought that I want to leave with you hearing this morning when your comfort zone gets uncomfortable Comfort zones is a dangerous thing to get in. Uh, you, you get in a comfort zone. Uh, I'm going to talk this morning. A lot of church people done got in a comfort zone. Uh, they, uh, they, they don't want to come to church no more. They don't want to sacrifice. Uh, they, 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 they want a comfort zone. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get in the service, but I'm not going to be in the service personally. My spirit is going to be the hallelujah. Glory to God. Comfort zone. Thank you, Jesus. That's what happens sometimes when we get fixated on certain things and not always keeping our mind on Jesus. Honey, we, we got to keep our mind on Jesus. Uh, Y'all think the world, some of us think the world is, is not coming to an end, honey. Lord, glory to God. But Brother Joe, I'm looking through that dark tunnel. It, it's way down the road there. But, but, but Joe, is that some daylight? Is I, I see some day. The world is coming, honey. God is speaking more than he has ever spoken before. He speaks through his word. He speaks through his saints. He speaks through nature. He speaks through time. Because God is not in time. He is out of time. Hallelujah. Look what's going on in the world. Honey, and it's just not going over in Israel and Gaza, it is everywhere. People are killing. People are just hating on one another because they can do it. They have no love of God. Comfort zone. Don't get too comfortable. I, 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 I got a little comfortable. I think it's you either. This message is for me. 
telling you right now, it's for me. Uh, I want you to look at this picture that I'm sitting up. Comfort zone. The bills are paid. Glory to God. As a matter of fact, they paid up in advance. You ain't got to worry about it for a few months. Uh, your family doing well. The children doing well. And oh Lord, my job is so satisfying. Uh, you're getting along well with everybody. I, I, I'm getting along with my spouse. Hallelujah. I'm getting along with my mom and my mother in law and in laws. Hallelujah. Man, you couldn't ask for better circumstances. Do you recognize what I'm talking about? There's a comfort zone. Hallelujah. Comfort zones can be dangerous. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, but don't get too attached to the comfort zone because it can come just as quick as you as you got in as you got in it. It can come and go in the back of an eye. When you read the scriptures that I'm talking about in the chapter today, the disciples elder they were feeling good. They were riding high. They were comfortable. They wasn't doing nothing. Jesus was doing all the work. Jesus was teaching. Jesus was healing. Jesus was feeding them. Hallelujah. And all I'm doing, hallelujah, is reciprocating, uh, receiving what the Lord is doing. Uh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, the ministry of Jesus was sky. And everybody that had something to do with Jesus, thank you, Jesus, they were walking uh, with their chest pumps out. Now, like, look at me. Now, look what I've done. Now, oh, glory to God. Now, but seeing everything that we do, there's a lesson in it for us. Come on and say, teach me, Lord. Now, hallelujah. There's a lesson in it. There's a lesson. Now, glory to God. Jesus told his disciples, now, glory to God, after he had did all the work, now, he said, come, huh? let's cross over huh? on the other side. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? So the disciples got the boat. Huh? I don't know how big a boat that it was. Huh? But they got the boat. Huh? And when they got in the boat, huh? the scripture tells us that Jesus, I don't know if it was below or he went in the corner, but he went somewhere. And they went to sleep. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? And then, huh? I don't understand because huh? the, the Bible says that they had some semen on board. They had been in a storm before. Glory to God. And they couldn't see the storm coming. But it, the storm uh, snuck up on them. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The wind picked up the cloud road and it beat up against the the boat. The boat was being tossed and turned. It can be devastating. Glory to God. When you get uncomfortable in your comfort zone. Glory to God. Because when you get in your comfort zone, hallelujah, and you're not thinking about Jesus, that's the opportunity for the enemy to sneak in. Oh, glory to God. I was in Vietnam sitting on a ambush. Glory to God. Had been sitting for three or four hours. Glory to God. And the enemy was supposed to come that way. And the 
it had not come that way, I got comfortable. We got comfortable. Glory to God. And the enemy stuck upon us. Glory to God. And began to shoot because we got comfortable in the safety zone. Hallelujah. The enemy surrounded us and we had a lot of casualties. Don't get caught up in your safety zone. Don't get Get caught up, glory to God, because that's the opportunity for the enemy to come. Oh, hallelujah! Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Bear with me one moment. And I'm going to turn my home to me because I have got nothing in a safety zone. Glory to God. Ah, glory to God. I want to talk about me this morning. Hallelujah. I didn't even know it. My wife didn't even know it. Glory to God. I was in a storm. Glory, hallelujah. I was going through. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I forgot who Jesus was. What he meant to me. What he had done for me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's easy to have a sunshine. We like sunshine. But when the storms are, the wind of life blows, it can put you in an off balance position. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. There's something about an element of surprise. Glory to God. Element of surprise. use in the army and say I want you to start using it now you got to sleep ready to go you got to wake up ready to go you got to go out your house ready to go don't let Satan get up on you don't get caught up in your safety zone Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I had car trouble. I had big car trouble. My wife knew a little something about it. As a man, I say as a man, we don't want to tell wifey everything. Hallelujah. She got her own problem. Glory to God. I wanted to carry this problem for myself. You see, I need my motor vehicle. Hallelujah. I need my car because I got people to go see. Glory to God. I have to go to the hospital. I have to go see when people call me, tell me that they're sick and they want to see me. It's my responsibility. It's my job to go see and go pray. The Lord, hallelujah. My car. Y'all remember, they don't make cartoons like they used to make when I was coming up. But if anybody remember, they used to have them car cartoons where they get, they were barely making it up the hill. They were coughing. That's what my car was doing. Glory to God. I had to go 
and get it put on the, the diagnostic machine. I had to go get it checked out. I thank you, Jesus. I had a little bit of money saved up for a rainy day. I learned that from my wife. Rainy days don't come. Glory to God. You better put something away. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. When they had the car put on the machine for the diagnostic test. Oh, glory to God. They found out some problems. Thank you, Jesus. They say, well, it's going to cost $1,500 just to get it fixed. Not talking about the labor. I told my wife about the 1500 but I didn't tell her that it will cost 700 to get it fixed. Glory to God. I went on. I don't want no bootleg man working on my car. Not that I don't trust them, but they got to have some guarantee. When you come in, Jesus, he's a guarantee God. Hallelujah. All you got to do is listen to him. Oh, glory to God. So I told the man, hallelujah, fix it. Oh, hallelujah. It took about a week to fix it. They called and say, Rev, say it's ready. So we got it running like new. I said, I'll be there. When it picked up my car, me and the mechanic, we rode around all the way on 440. I told him, Elder, I said, all right now, put it to the floor. Glory to God. Test it. Because I don't want no rattling. I'm like my wife. When she hear rattling in the car, she get worried. You better listen to them rattles. Because if it ain't supposed to rattle, it ain't got no business being there. You better get it checked out. But honey, the car rode good. So I get back to the mechanic shop. I paid him. I say, thank you, Lord. Then I I come on home, huh? glory to God. Huh? Got up the next morning, huh? glory to God. Huh? Something wasn't right, huh? didn't ride right. Huh? Something was wrong with the wheel. Huh? So I didn't stop, huh? I went right back huh? to the man. Huh? He, I say, something ain't right. Huh? I say, something is not right. I just paid you $1,500, huh? $2,100. I want to know what's wrong with my car. I need my motor vehicle. Glory to God. So he said, okay, Rev. We get in it. He rides in it. He said, you know what? I hear that too. So I hear it. But it wasn't happening before, huh? glory to God. He said, leave it here. I promise you, I'll check it out. Find out what it was. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? I get a call huh? the next day. Huh? Now I'm walking. Huh? I walk from my house huh? all the way down huh? to the mechanic place on the boulevard. Huh? When I get there, huh? I'm out of wind. I'm tired. Glory to God. Now you know it won't take too much to set me off. Glory to God. So he said, Reverend, I got some bad news. Glory to God. I said, what? I said, man, I done spent 20 some hundred dollars on this car. You telling me I got some bad news? He said, yes, sir. I said, but what is it? He said, you need a transfer case. I don't know what it is. But you know what? It sounds important. A transfer case. These four-wheel vehicles, see? Hallelujah. All of that connects from the rear to the front, uh, 
that's a transfer case. Even though you got a universal joint, but it connects to the transfer case. He said you need a transfer case. I'm saying, I said, won't you check for me to see how much it was going to cost? He said, well, well, that ain't all. He said, you got to put some uh, 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 some uh, 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 shock absorber, some uh, which not shocks, but uh, struts. It need you need two front struts uh, and rear. Uh, that ain't all. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, he said you need uh, some motor mounts. I say, Lord, how messy. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Uh, Glory to God. Uh, Mm, Jesus, hallelujah, I went in my wallet, <laughs> didn't have no cash, but I looked at the credit cards, and I began to peel off the credit cards, I said, well, can't use that one, I can't use that one, I can't use that one, glory to God. But I got that one uh, that got a little bit of money in it uh, for my mortgage. Uh, hallelujah. Saints of God, uh, I need my vehicle uh, to do the work of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. So I say, look up uh, and see what the parts going to cost. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, so he began to look at the book, and he, he stopped. He said, uh oh. He said, Ray, the transfer case is going to cost you over $1,000. I said, why? Well, I, I said, can't you do brothers on a break? Hallelujah. He said, hey, I can give you, but I got the, the part got to, got to be paid for. That manufacturer ain't going to give me no break. Hallelujah. So I've called the other Lawrence. Hallelujah. Elder Lawrence said, Well, what would you tell me? He said, Go to Amazon. Go to Amazon. What was on the plate? All those zones. I even called Day Day and he gave me a few places to look. Glory to God. But everywhere I looked, hallelujah, the prices went from 1500 up to 2300 Glory to God. He said, well, you can drive the car, but I say I don't trust it. It can quit on me anytime. So I got in the car. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I need my car, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I need it to do the work of the Lord. I came. I had to go to my Mount Zion. Glory to God. The car was making so much noise. When I pulled up in front of the church, that's my Mount Zion. Everybody was looking to see if it was going to blow up. Glory to God. I come into church. Glory to God. Thank God. School was out. Thank God. Hallelujah. Sister Carol didn't have the students upstairs. Glory to God. I come in. I said, Lord, I felt like Job. I said, Lord, you got to give me some answers. I need to hear from you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then, after me and the Lord got through wrestling, and of course, you can't win with him. Glory to God. You got to listen to him. So he said, go up and look online. Where Amazon buy their products from. They don't make them. They buy them from somewhere. So I get on Amazon. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah, Brother Joe. I was serious about this. Thank you, Jesus. Got my magnifying glass. Hallelujah, there's some things that you need your magnifying glass to look because the consumer don't want you to know about it. Glory to God. The Lord says, search. I got my magnifying glass. I found the part, the exact part that I needed. I began to search. Glory to God. And in very small print, glory to God. I said, can I, couldn't hardly see it. So I ran a copy off of it. Thank God for a copy of machine. I ran a copy of that small print that you couldn't see with the magnifying glass. So I put it on the copy of machine and I zoomed it, glory to God, to where I needed some by focus really to see it. But I had to bring it back down. And then uh, I found uh, the manufacturing company. <laughs> oh, I began to rejoice. Uh, hallelujah. I began to thank God. Uh, so I get on the phone uh, and I call uh, that company. Uh, and I told them, uh, gave them the vehicle number. Uh, they looked it up. Uh, they said, oh, yeah. They called me. I said, this is pastor. I'm telling you. I tell people I'm a pastor because I'm looking for some breaks. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm being honest. I'm a man of God. Glory to God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm talking to you. Glory. Hallelujah. And uh, he said, well, we got it. And then I began to, I says, uh, well, how much is it? Well, he said, hold on a minute. So he began, I could hear the computer go beep, 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 beep. He going down to the part. Beep, beep, then he stop. I said, uh oh. Then he beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and then he say, Well, here it is right here. So I can give that to you for eight hundred. And $48. I say, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I told him, I say, put it in the mail. I didn't know that thing was that big, though. Hallelujah. Came to the house. Glory to God. About that big. I say, is this a transmission or something? I had to get my son uh, to put it in the car for me. We took it down uh, to the place. Uh, he said, well, I'm going to need uh, a day or so to put it in. Uh, glory, hallelujah. I got it. Uh, and I put it in. Uh, glory to God. Uh, and and, and, and I, that cost me, uh, glory to God, uh, another $1,600. Glory to God. Uh, but I had to thank Jesus. Uh, glory to God. Uh, but I couldn't forget uh, what Jesus brought me from. Uh, hallelujah. I had uh, came back to the church. Uh, I got on my knees. Uh, and I said, Lord, I thank you for letting me find that part. Then I go on upstairs. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And I just begin to cry in my soul. See, sometimes just because I look like I got some money in my pocket. Glory to God. And my clothes is clean. Doesn't mean that I got money in my pocket. Glory to God. I'm flesh and blood just like everyone else is. I tell the people on the street, hallelujah. I get broke like you get broke. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I couldn't go to the other Lord. Hallelujah. I wanted to go to him, but I couldn't go to him. I couldn't go to him because he was getting ready to plan a trip. Glory to God. He did all his finances then. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God don't want you to go to man when you're in difficulty. Glory to God. God. 
God want you to come to him because if you go to man, man will get the big head trying to take God's glory, but God's glory belongs to him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord. And I begin, I'm closing, begin to talk. And the Lord told me, when your comfort zone gets uncomfortable, remember who's on board. Glory to God. That's where I got my topic from my message that I'm preaching to you today. Sometimes when trouble comes, problem comes, we forget who is on board. Glory to God. We let the problem interfere with our thinking, interfere with our mind, and we can't get to God, even though God knows all about it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember who's on board. Hallelujah. God was ministering to me, saying, I had to be ministered to. Hallelujah. He was talking to my spirit. He said, I am omnipotent. Glory to God. That is of all power. Glory to God. No power in the world is comparable to the power of God. We forget who Jesus is when you focus on your problem. Then he told me, he said, I'm omnipotent. Oh, 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 glory to God. He's all knowing. He knew before my car got that way. He knew it was going to get that way. Glory to God. He knew that. He's all knowing. Nothing occurs in my life. Nothing occurs in your life that he doesn't know about it. Oh, glory to God. And then uh, he's off the present. Oh, glory to God. Meaning his present. He's everywhere. He's in the problem. He's in you. There's no place where he is not. There's no place that he is not. No moment of your life can be spent away from his presence. No storm or difficult can separate us from the love of God. He loves his people. He loves the church. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Remember what God has done. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's always, always will. Glory to God. What he has done, he can still do. Glory to God. Remember, when the storm has come and gone, the storm has did all that he can do. Jesus will always have the last word. The outcome of circumstances. I'm going to say this again. The outcome of circumstances is not in charge. My enemies, your enemies, are not in charge. My God is. I can relax knowing that no circumstances can overcome me. When I place my faith in the master's hand, he's working. He's working on my behalf. What did I mean? Glory to God. God moved in house of prayer. Moved to do the pastoral anniversary. And that's how we were able to pray. Hallelujah. For the automobile experience. God moved through his people 
to Sister Dominique, and to you. Thank God. God will never leave you, nor forsake you. He still sits high and looks lower. We are his sheep. Father, we come to say thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for going, bringing me through with me, Lord. Thank you for the poor, because I had to be poor. Lord, we thank you for your people. Thank you, my God, for this house, for your spirit abode here. Remember all of the prayer requests and everything that we do here, Lord. Because you get the glory. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. God is not a God of forgetfulness. He does not forget. He's going to reward your labor of love. Hallelujah. I'm wondering, after hearing the word of God, and I hope that the power of the Holy Ghost in this message move throughout the airways and let you know that you're sitting too comfortable where you are. You got holes, loopholes. Satan can come in. He's looking, he's searching whom he can devour. He doesn't want those out there in the street. He wants those who are looking for God. I'm wondering, is there one who wants to give their life to God? Who's tired of the same old runoff that you do every day. God can change your life. Is there one who wants prayer? You're in the right house. If you have faith in him, And believe in him. There is nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, yes. Glory, 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 glory. I will rejoice. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We praise God for his goodness and his mercy have shed upon us in this day. Praise God for our pastor and we praise him for the message. Comfort zone. <laughs> comfort zone. I, everybody should be a little familiar with comfort zone. Huh? You get too comfortable sometimes. But when things happen in your life, it moves you out of that comfort zone and make you do something. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we praise God for your goodness and his goodness and his mercy. It's offering time in the sanctuary. That should be a comfort zone. <laughs> I said that should be a comfort zone. Because God has blessed us to be able to come into his house and to give something. I said, give something. Hallelujah. So we're going to ask the ushers. They would come forth at this time. Ushers going to direct you where you're going to be able to be comfortable giving. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And if you need an envelope. your blessings be upon this offering that we receive on today. That, oh my God, that it be used, oh God, for the upbuilding of thy kingdom. For these blessings, Father, and all other blessings we ask in thy name alone, in Jesus' precious name. And everyone say amen. Say amen again. We thank God for your giving on today. This time we're going to bring forth our pastor back and we're going to be going into our communion part of the service. Let's receive our pastor with a hearty amen. Say amen again. Come on, clap your hands all over the house. Give God some praise. Come on, we could do better than that. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is in the house. Come on, clap your hands all over the house and give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 God is a good God. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. We thank God for the move of God's spirit in the house. Praise the name of God. I thought I had a church in here this morning. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor preached a little hard today, didn't he? <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For our pastor, man, has, how he's allowed God to use him today. <laughs> Praise the name of God. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to call, amen, Sister Mazetta, amen, that she may give us our announcement. Amen. We ask that you sit attentively, amen, as she give us, amen, the announcements for the week in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands as she come.
Amen. We say praise the Lord yet again. Amen. We thank God, amen, for Sister Mazetta. We thank God for our announcements. Amen. Amen. And uh, Pastor just uh, whispered in my ear. He said, let them know that he's expecting everybody to be there on Friday. So you heard it from our pastor. Don't look at me funny. <laughs> amen. But God is a good God. Amen. We know that. Amen. That's right. That's right. I know that you meant that. God is a good God. He's awesome. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Amen. We know that. Uh, we thank God for the announcements because we know we can't just make it just on one day a week. You go to work almost five days a week. Those that work Monday through Friday. Some of y'all work on the weekends. You go to work every day because you need that paycheck to look like something after 80 hours. Right? So why not put your time in the house of God? Come on. You can't make it off one day a week. Sunday is not enough. Tuesday is not enough. Wednesday is not enough. You got to spend every day with God. Spend as much time as you can with him. Praise the name of God. I don't know about you, but I'm happy down in my sanctified soul. I feel good down in my, I feel, I'm just happy in the Lord. Praise the name of God. Amen. The Bible says, uh, no, the song says, uh, the, the, the joy of the Lord is, is my strength. The world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. At this time, we're not going to hold you any longer. Amen. We thank God for what he's done in the house on today. Amen. We pray that each and every one of you, amen, that you leave out, amen, different than what you came in. Amen. God bless you. We're going to ask that everybody stand and we're going to be dismissed. Amen. In the hands of our pastor. Uh, Sister Robinson, don't let this be the last time. Okay. All right. God got something for you. And you're ripe for the picking. You know, you only pick fruit when the fruit is ripe. And you're ripe. God wants to pluck you. All right. All right. Then. So we sure to do thank you. Come on. I just wanted to say something. You're going to dismiss us. I, I, uh, I feel good. I had this on my chest. <laughs> what an uplifted hands dear gracious God and our father Lord is once more and again God we come before you to say thank you we thank you God for this day we thank you God for this worship service we thank you God for the move of your spirit we thank you God for your power for your glory that filled the house we ask God in the name of Jesus God that you bless us God as we prepare to leave this house but never your presence God go before us and prepare the way God, be with us, God, even throughout the week. Help us, oh God, to follow you even the more. Help us, God, to be intentional, God, with serving you even the more. God, bless us now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, God, and we bless your name. In Jesus' name, God, we pray. And everybody say amen. Come on, greet your neighbor with a, with a hug before we leave. God bless you.